Hey, this is Andreas from eSurfer. Today with uh, two hand controllers, one from Lyft, one from uh, the Audi e-tron foil. Uh, the Lyft controller is the same since 2018. Uh, it got some software updates, but it's actually pretty much the same. This one is obviously pretty new. And now let's have a look. Uh, we start with the lift hand controller. You have four buttons. This is a power on button. Uh, you can see it's a black and white uh, e-ink uh, paper display. Um, it's, it's always hot, so be careful. Uh, always turn it off if you handle your e-foil because Lyft does not have the safety feature that uh, Audi or Flightboard has uh, to protect you. Um, you have here another button in the middle. Uh, you can change into governor mode, which basically means with plus and minus, you can go from one to 15. Uh, and this is actually, these are the 15 gears where you can change you know, how aggressive and how fast your board is. And you turn it off by using this button. Now we come to the Audi e-tron foil hand controller. Uh, you turn it on by pressing the button in the middle for two seconds. Uh, now you can see it as a color display uh, with lots of information. You can change between three settings. Once you go in one, it's actually locked. So that's the safety mechanism. You have to press the button up uh, for two seconds and now it's turned on. Within the setting, you can also actually change gears, 10 of these. Uh, which basically means you have uh, three times 10 gears or 30 gears. Uh, you see a lot of stats uh, after you ride, how long you were riding, how fast, what was the fastest speed, average speed, and so on. And uh, if you want to turn it off, you just press this button in the middle here for five seconds and power off. Both are floating. Uh, they are both uh, not similar size, I would say. Um, the lift is a little bit bigger, uh, but uh, both are actually, I, I like them both. Okay, thank you. I hope this was helpful.